Oh, 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 oh,
venomuscular compression technology. I think I'll put these on later today. That's awesome, of course, green and blue. And then I just did a little, <laughs> I don't need another t-shirt, but I just, I had, I had to pick it up. I had to pick it up. I, I like, just so everybody knows, I like colors that are loud. Um, there's a couple different reasons why. The reason is when I'm filming, especially out in the mountains, but also in the city, when I'm filming, if I'm wearing brown or green, all like a, a forest green all the time, you can't really see me running as well. So that's one of the reasons why I pick colors that are brighter, because then you can pick me out if I'm like 100 meters away coming down a big trail, you can see me coming down. So anyway, that's one of the reasons I go with bright colors. Oh my goodness. This is a tea from La Sportiva. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, this is like, this makes me feel like, uh, it makes me think of Europe for some reason. So La Sportiva, a company out of Italy. So, so cool. Okay, now we're going inside. Yes, Demore Global Running Gear has arrived. New colors. Let's go. Come on. Okay, is it dirty? All right, everybody. Today's vlog is all about outerwear. That is a running term. And guess what arrived in the mail today? Oh, mama. Hey, hey, hey. Here comes the kind of day. Woo! Outerwear! Outerwear! Go, go, go! Tear it open! Tear it open! Tear it open! Tear it open! Here we go! All right, bada bing, bada boom! Ah. Ah. All right, what's in here, boys? Can you tear? Yeah, Michael's like, like, open that up! Pull, pull, pull! Pull, pull, pull! All right, everyone! All the onesie! Michael's onesie. Oh, it's so cute. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Love it. I will see. Oh, hon, I've got something for my tush. Oh, oh the tush. Get waiting. it. Oh, there goes the baby. There goes the baby. Wow. Oh, oh so my goodness. Like Joseph, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, a hoodie. A hoodie. Oh, that might be Papa's. This might be Papa's. Here, you open, Joseph, you open that one. Where's this? We got you. We got a long sleeve. Joseph, is this a hoodie? All right, there you go. Hoodie for Joseph. There we go. There we go. Good times with the family. Always good to get them in the vlog. I think they are happy with their selection from the Demore Global Running Store. And yes, this is an updated color, just so you know. And I think in the future, I think I'm going to do a blue color for Seek Beauty, Work Hard, and Love Each Other. So I will continue to keep you updated as the colors are expanded in the future. And yes, if you do get a t-shirt or a sticker or a hoodie, it does support this channel. It allows me to do a lot of things like fix broken camera equipment and uh, travel to some of these races. So I do appreciate the support. Um, and just so you know, the company that actually does the printing is called Teespring. So when you click on the links down below to the t-shirts, it'll take you to a separate website that is run through Teespring and it's very easy to order a lot of different things. Hoodies, you saw True Love in there. I think it's called the slouchy sweater, whatever that means. It's like a loose fitting sweater. I have the tank on now. Um, yeah, so anyway, and yes, I am working on a racing singlet. This is not a racing singlet, although some people are using it for their races, which I appreciate. Uh, but I also want to develop a racing singlet that is more, uh, I guess, polyester based, if I can put it that way. Okay, moving on real quick to some more outerwear, outerwear discussion. Uh-oh, I don't have them. I don't have them because they are inside getting washed right now. My green rabbit shorts that I wore today, they are amazing, very comfortable, but they're a little too it's crazy, they're a little too loose fitting. Just so you know, I picked those up oh, maybe about a month ago. I really enjoy them, but they just like the waistband and even that inner liner, it's just all a little too loosey goosey, okay? So rabbit shorts, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up another pair, we shall see. Anyway, just wanted to make a note on that. And uh, here's the deal. So, okay, where to even begin? Oh yeah, and then a couple people were asking me, I think on Instagram about half tights. Uh, so here's my new New Balance half tights. There you go, New Balance. I only wear half tights in the winter time when it's cold out in order to keep the hamstrings warm. Kind of like the calf sleeves that I now have on my legs uh, just to help prevent pulling a muscle. So I haven't even used these yet, but I just wanted to update you there uh, that I do love half tights in the winter time especially. Okay, and last but not least, oh baby, oh baby, here we go. So these were not, so I did not buy these. These were sent to me, okay? 
the company, as I already mentioned, actually here is the singlet. I, uh, I took it off, spelled J-A-N-J-I. And here's the shorts, floral, pr floral print. It's got some roses on it. I kind of like it, a little unique and different. I like that. Uh, these are the five inch shorts. I personally prefer the three inch split shorts. I'll come back to that in a minute. Here's the deal, everybody. Watch out, buckle up. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, these are the most comfortable running shorts I've ever owned. No doubt, no doubt, all right? But with a caveat, these are my old school throwback ASICS shorts. These shorts are at least 10 years old. They might even be 13 or 14 years old. I definitely picked them up when I was at the University of Colorado, which means I have washed these at least a thousand times. That is why they are so soft. They're one of my favorite shorts that I own. There's no holes in them. Again, they're from ASICS, but now, right out of the box, right out of the packaging, these Janji shorts, J-A-N-J-I, they're so comfortable, I don't even know what to tell you. The only drawback, only drawback, is the waistband. I don't know, I, I wish this waistband was just maybe a little more smoother. Uh, this drawstring, incredible, incredible. It's a little bit of elastic to it. It cinches down around your waist so well. And yes, even this inner liner, and I don't know if that's the exact right term, but this inner liner, so comfortable. The actual material on the outside, so comfortable. Everybody, Janji shorts, watch out, J-A-N-J-I, I think. Now these are the five inch, so you're not even gonna believe what I'm gonna do here in a minute. I'm gonna actually turn these into split shorts. I don't like shorts that are not split, meaning it has a little cut uh, on the side like these. Here we go from A6, see that little cut? Now, uh, having split shorts does not make you faster, but for me, if you're used to split shorts, going to a short that is just, um, just one piece of material, it's a little bit of a distraction mentally because I can feel the material uh, rubbing on my quad. It's so strange, it's so weird. I know this is really, really detail oriented, but so I'm actually gonna take some scissors to these shorts and turn them into split shorts with all of you, all right? I'm excited. I'm, and I'm probably gonna pick up uh, another pair of the three inch split shorts from Janji very soon. And last but not least, that question of the day, what is your favorite piece of running outerwear right now? What is the brand and why? All right, so you might have to stop and think about your entire running outerwear collection. I'm really excited about that La Sportiva uh, t-shirt that I picked up. And, uh, but I bring this up because yes, fall the crisp fall temperatures are right around the corner i i cannot wait for those temperatures to like drop down into the 60s and 70s it's going to be so amazing so that i can use this new hat once again from seal that is made for winter running to help keep your head warm so anyway that's the question of the day thanks for being here thanks for watching uh we covered a lot if you have any questions about any of these items definitely ask down below i appreciate you what a day, what a day. Oh yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow's race day. See updates on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, follow the Cirque series on Instagram, especially uh, C-I-R-Q-U-E. They do a great job uh, updating, uh, updating on races live on their Instagram account. All right, here's a couple old vlogs for you, testing out old outerwear for you. Thanks for checking them out if you want on the right or the left. All right, you guys are the best. Seek beauty, work hard love each other. See you tomorrow.